understanding, shoulder to cry on, a deep dive. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we aim to make English learning fun and easy for you. Today, we're going to explore a very special phrase that you might come across in English conversations, movies, or books. It's the expression, shoulder to cry on. Let's dive into what it means, where it comes from, and how you can use it in your daily English. Stay tuned. The phrase, shoulder to cry on, refers to someone who offers emotional support or comfort to someone else who is sad, upset, or going through a difficult time. When we say a person provides a shoulder to cry on, we mean that they are there to listen, offer sympathy, and help someone feel better. It's not about literal shoulders or crying, it's about emotional support and compassion. Interestingly, the phrase, shoulder to cry on, is quite visual and metaphorical. It conjures up the image of one person leaning on another's shoulder, seeking comfort. While it's hard to pinpoint the exact origin of this phrase, it's clear that it has been used for many years to describe emotional support and solidarity. In terms of usage, you might hear it in various contexts. In personal conversations, thank you for being here for me. I really needed a shoulder to cry on. In literature and movies, characters often offer or seek a shoulder to cry on during emotional scenes. In everyday English, it's a common phrase to express empathy or the act of supporting someone emotionally. To help you understand how to use shoulder to cry on in real life conversations, here are a few examples. After the loss of her pet, Maria found a shoulder to cry on in her best friend. No matter what happens, you'll always have me as a shoulder to cry on, he promised. Sometimes, all you need is a shoulder to cry on to make the world seem a little less overwhelming. English is rich with expressions of comfort and support. Here are a few similar phrases. A rock, someone who is very strong and dependable. A listening ear, someone willing to listen to one's problems. A pillar of strength, someone who provides significant support and strength to others. Understanding these expressions can enrich your English communication, especially in expressing empathy and support. We hope this video has shed light on the beautiful and compassionate phrase, shoulder to cry on. English is filled with such expressions that add depth and emotion to our conversations. Remember, learning a language is not just about words and grammar, it's also about understanding the emotions and cultural nuances behind expressions. Thank you for watching, and we hope you now feel more comfortable using and understanding the phrase, shoulder to cry on. Until next time, keep learning and keep supporting each other.